Hi everyone and welcome to Fun with Code. In this video, we are going to see how to create a screen recorder using Python. We are going to program this in three parts. Part one, we are going to import the modules and we are going to take the required inputs from the user. Part two, where we'll create a video writer. And in part three, we'll create a loop where the video writer goes on so that the screen recording is continuously happening. So without any further delay, let's have fun with code. To create a screen recorder, we are going to need three modules. So here is a tip for beginners. If you want to install multiple pack uh, multiple modules at the same time, you can do it. Let's say we, we need numpy opencv and pyauto gui so let's say numpy and you can separate different modules using a space using a blank space and then you can say opencv python and i need another module let pyauto gui and now if you hit enter sorry we need to say pip pip install numpy opencv and pyauto gui uh, these all are going to be installed with the with a single command and i've already installed all those modules so it says requirement already satisfied so if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and like this video so that it will help me reach more people on this platform. So let's start importing the modules. Let's say import numpy as np and we are going to need opencv and pyautog. Let's say import cv2 and import by auto g1 so we are going to need certain inputs from the user for a let's say we need number of seconds we are going to record the screen so let's give it a default value of 10 and then we are going to try let's say let's create a variable called time int input we are going to say enter the duration of the enter the duration of the recording in seconds and this is going to be an integer value so if there is any error let's say except print please enter an integer value we are writing this statement because if the user gives a string input here and the program will stop working because the user has given a string input which is not expected here so we are going to try and if this fails we are going to say accept print please enter an integer value and again we are going to show this also after this you after the user gives the input we need to say seconds equal to time 
so the value in the value of second say is 10 after this is after this statement is completed then the second the value of second will change to whatever the user has given so let's say second is equal to time and that is the end of first part and now we are going to move to the second part wherein we are going to create a video writer so we are going to need the resolution of the screen so let's say screen size is equal to is equal to by auto gui dot size and we got the size of the screen and now we need fps frames per frame per frames per second so let's say let's just say fps and if you want you can add this here like we get seconds from the user itself so if the user wants to customize the frames per second you can add this here like asking the user how many frames per second does he want now let's give it 24 let's create a variable called f o u r c c which is equal to cv2 dot video writer underscore for cc and then here we are going to say star x v i d and let's say recorder equal to Recorder equal to cv2 dot video writer and then we are going to give the name of the file let's say output dot avi and then we need to say f4urcc and then fps and then screen size and this is the end of our second part and let's go ahead with the third part third part wherein we are going to where we are going to create a loop for like if the user is recording for 10 seconds then we'll have 240 frames every second has 24 frames so then for 10 seconds, we'll, 10 seconds we'll have 240 frames so we need to create a loop where every second the image is captured we need to also give the record underscore seconds which is equal to seconds now let's say for i in range we are going to say record seconds multiplied by frames per second so and then we are going to say image equal to auto gui dot screenshot so for every frame we are going to capture the image and then we are going to show it to the user at the same time we are going to record the screen now let's say frame equal to np dot array and then we are going to say image let's say frame dot and let's say frame equal to cv2 dot cvt color convert color 
we are going to convert frame to from b from bgr to rgp so don't forget to use parentheses here yes. now we need to show now we need to write uh, write this image into the into the video so let's say recorder dot write frame and then we are go also going to show the frame so we also need to break this loop like if the user want to stop the recording before the before the seconds he has given so he should be able to do that do that so let's say if key q is pressed then the window should the recording should be stopped and uh, uh, let's give a name for this window let's say record and then if cv2 dot wait key is equal to q then we are going to break the loop break after the loop is done we are going to stop the we are going to stop recording let's say cv2 dot destroy all windows and then recorder dot release so let's let's run the program and see if it works and we need to enter the num number of seconds i'll say five yeah we got a recorder here and uh it's it's done let me check the file the file will be in the in the same folder where your python file is so check for your python file and we have a file called output let's open it and yes we have successfully created uh, we have successfully created a record so if you enjoyed learning in this way please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel